In this third task, I'll use the raster calculator to combine the reclassified slope and aspect data. The raster calculator allows you to combine raster data sets mathematically to produce new outputs. For example, raster data sets can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided against one another. This procedure is also known as raster algebra. In this task, I'll add the two reclassified rasters together. Since each raster has ideal conditions coded with threes, an area that ends up with a pixel value of six would be ideal. To begin, I'll go to the raster menu and choose raster calculator. The raster calculator window shows the loaded raster data sets in the upper left hand box. A series of operators is available below that. And at the very bottom is the window where you build your raster calculator expression. You can save the output by clicking the ellipsis button and choosing a file name and a location here. And you can even determine the extent of the operation. So here I want to add the reclassified slope to the reclassified aspect layer. So I'm going to double click on the slope reclassified to add it in the window. I'm going to use the addition operator. The reclassified aspect layer here is still called output raster layer one. I'll double click on that. And then I'll click the ellipsis button to save the output. I'm going to navigate to the lab seven, my data folder, and I'll call the output plant habitat .img. Since I call this an erdas imagine file, I need to change the output format to erdas imagine to match. And I can click OK to run the tool. Now I'll turn off the other layers and just look at the plant habitat layer here. To visualize the output better, I'm going to open the layer properties for this and go into this style tab. I'm going to change it to single band pseudo color. I'll use the same red, yellow, green color ramp. I'll change the mode to equal interval. And I'll give it six classes matching the number of classes in my data. And while I'm here, I'll switch the load min max values to min max, the accuracy to actual, click load, and finally click classify. You'll see that I have the categories for my data. I'll click OK. And now you can see the dark green pixels that would be optimum habitat for this particular plant species. This lab exposed you to terrain analysis where you create derived data sets from elevation data, or DEMs. You then went on to reclassify two terrain related data sets, aspect and slope, and you combined them to produce suitable habitat for a plant species. This is another method of doing site selection analysis, and raster data are really well suited for these types of analyses.